Let's go now to the Republican Senator from Pennsylvania, Pat Toomey. Senator Toomey, thanks for joining us this morning. Joe Biden has pulled ahead. Do you think the president still has a chance in your state? Uh, he does, George. Uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but there is certainly still a path for the president. Uh, first of all, it's an extremely narrow lead. And I think we've got to remember that this process goes beyond, you know, the first vote count. Uh, for instance, in Pennsylvania, we know there are some minor irregularities. Those will have to be litigated. There has been a terrible lack of transparency in the Philadelphia vote counting process. Um, and we have a, a rogue state Supreme Court that unilaterally decided to violate the U.S. Constitution and rewrite election law to allow ballots without a postmark to be counted days after the election. Well, I the doubt Supreme very Court much ratified that, 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 didn't they? No, they did not. No, George, they did not ratify that. They said by a 4-4 decision, they would not impose an injunction at that time, leaving the, the door open for addressing that in a subsequent case. I think that's likely to happen. And so, for instance, if it turns out that it is that category of ballots that create the margin of victory for Vice President Biden, I don't, I have no idea whether that's the case or not, but that's the kind of thing that would have to be litigated. So I think we've got a long way to go. We've got to finish the counting and all legal ballots absolutely have to be counted and that takes as long as it takes. There's probably gonna be a valid legitimate recount and then there will be legitimate litigation. Um, I just think that's the way it's going to go, and people need to be patient. We need to let this process play out. It was the president who said we should stop the counting, but I just, I, just a couple of points there. Number one, the ballots that have come in so far do not include anything that was received after November 3rd, right now, at least in the I, current. I, I, wait, hold on, George. Um, I'm, not, I, I'm not aware that that's the case, and I don't know how we could know that in Philadelphia since observers have not been given uh, the opportunity to get close enough to observe. Well, the so Supreme Court ordered, I, I, ordered those observers to come in. And in fact, we've all been watching the count on television. George. I was talking to the lieutenant governor this morning, and he said there have not been any widespread irregularities, no widespread evidence of fraud I, in I, Pennsylvania yeah, I, at all. George, I have acknowledged that. I have acknowledged that. I, I'm not aware of any widespread or any systemic fraud or anything of the sort. However, nobody can say with confidence that the ballots that are supposed to be segregated in Philadelphia are, in fact, being properly segregated because even this morning I spoke with the Republican who's responsible for overseeing that process and he continues to be denied access to the point where you can actually see what's happening. Yeah, they're in the room. The room is the size of a small town and he can't get close enough to see what's actually going on. So all I'm saying is there are some unnecessary problems along the way. We're going to have to get this resolved. Yeah, and, and one, of, one of the reasons this has taken so long and it couldn't be done earlier, of course, was because the state legislature in Pennsylvania said that you couldn't start processing the absentee mail-in ballots until Election Day itself. That's but I, but I, I, do, I do take your, your point, but let's, let's say we go through the process, we go through the canvassing, right. we go through the recount. Are you prepared right. to say, once that has happened, that this has been a fair and free election? George, look, I voted for Donald Trump. I endorsed Donald Trump. The person that I want to be the next president is the person who wins the Electoral College legitimately. I think our system is absolutely going to enable us to do that, and I'm, I'm going to accept the results. Senator Toomey, thanks for your time this morning. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.